Welcome back everyone, and we're in the studio today, and what we've got is some shiny things to photograph. So, notice how I've got gloves, because I, I don't want to have to clean them. They've been cleaned before they got here. So, there's a mixture of stuff, it's all metal. We're not doing particularly sexy shots with these today. It is literally just white background shots. But I am going to do the lighting slightly different, and I want to show you that, because I think it makes a difference. Um, and we're going to use a bit of a scrim, and we're going to use a board to reflect light back onto it. So yeah, let's go and have a play, and then I'll show you what I've done, show you the results. As I say, these aren't award-winning images that you're going to see here. These are practical images that they're going to be able to use in their marketing, in their magazines, to really show the product off to its best. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this camera now to show you the setup and what we're actually getting here and what we've done. So. Over here, we've got a scrim into there. So it's a piece of transparent material. This is Lee Filters material into that. We've got a soft box behind, huge soft box. We've got the flashlight onto that. Now, it's really, really softening this light down because we don't want a really harsh light on this particular metal. We've got white backdrop into that, although, in reality, I could just have a piece of card, but I'm just so used to doing that because I'm not getting the background in. And we've got a Fomex flag just here. So let's turn this round so you can see, and I can see what we're doing. So right here is the product, tiny, tiny little product using the 100 mil macro lens because I can't find the 60. So we've gone to that. What I have done, I've light metered all of this. So, I can work out what it is. So I'm going to face that to the light that way. Crack on. That's at f8, 250th of the second, ISO 100, which are my settings onto there. This side is coming out at 5.6 with the bounce. And this is what we're getting. Absolutely perfect exposure. First time into there. And the quality and the light is just beautiful into that. Absolutely beautiful. So it's just giving you that little extra by not having it into there, it's showing off the roundness. So one of the things I always find with this is that if I don't have a different value light source at the other side, it becomes a very flat image. And actually we wanna show the curves off. We want it to look round. We don't want it to look dead flat. We're not just trying to light flat bang on. Now, one of the things I could have done, and fortunately these are small products, so that's not why I'm doing it, I would have had this main light at the back angled in, so it's sort of coming from the back there, and this at the front. That wasn't needed for this particular shot because they're just such small little items that I'm not going to get that. So I've gone for a very nice, crisp, clean image. And that's what we got. Really, really simple to do. Absolutely beautiful results out of this. And it makes a world of difference from just flat on light. And if I'd have just lit it from the front, yeah, it'd have been all right, but it'd have been flat and boring and it just wouldn't have stood out. Hey, it would be really, really helpful to me if you could subscribe to the channel. It would make a world of difference. Trying to build this channel, I could really use your help. That'd be great. If you don't feel like subscribing, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. That would make the world of difference to me. Thanks. Right, let you to it. Okay, there you go. Really, really simple to do. Nice little technique, short video. Hope that helps. If there's something you're not sure how to photograph, put something down below. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Who knows? Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Yeah.